What's going on guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today we're going to be playing Ixion and Ixion is a city builder with survival elements and we explore our solar system and we've got to do events and missions and we've got to go and extract our like, asteroid fields and planets and all this kind of stuff. So I'm super looking forward to it because we have to we have to survive. That's what our mission is to do and we as an administrator have been tasked by you know the higher ups to do what we need to do. And we can see this is our uh, space station called Tycoon. So without further ado, remember to like, subscribe. Also leave a comment, even if it's just an emoji. And let's start a brand new game. Launch control, we are Tycoon clearance for shuttle launch. Initiate Stanford protocol. Clear procedures. Check. Guidance go. Yeah, yeah, go is online. The test of safety protocol. Check. Launch control to EMB Charon. All systems are go. Launch is imminent. Personnel are instructed to evacuate the launch pad. Why, thank you. And I'm not going to lie, that cinematic was the most visually stunning thing Shadow I've seen from a game, I think. Hi, Eden. Sector one, empowered Personal empowered. assistant of Tycoon. Munchie decontamination protocol online. Disembarkation authorized. Message to crew members. Welcome on board the Tycoon. Property of Dolus Aerospace Engineering Corporation. You will soon be given your assignments, but until then, please continue to wait near the docking bay. We hope you have a productive voyage, and would like to thank you for your contribution towards humanity's future. Administrator, I am Eden, the personal assistant installed on board the Tycoon. In accordance with the Munchie Protocol, I have been designed to take into consideration your complete psychological profile so that I may more accurately respond to any needs you may have. My primary purpose is to ensure the Tycoon's automated systems function efficiently. I will keep track of the tasks that are necessary for you to fulfill your prerogative of reaching Proxima Centauri and carrying out field research, mining operations, manufacturing protocols, 
and Dodo's colonization tests. Okay. So there we go. We can see we've got another transmission coming in. I'm probably going to skip them. Oh, I can go to side to side. Oh, it, whoa. Hello. What's this? Sector 1, Sector 2, locked. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've seen something about this. So this is our build area right here. And we get to the move to the second. We can kind of see this on the map down here. Sector 2, Sector 3, 4, 5, and 6. So it's kind of like a trivia. Is it Trivia Pursuit? We've played that board game, right? And we can see our little... Our little workers, our little engineers down here just kind of doing their little thing. And we've got loads of these buildings which have some specific items. So we can see alloys. We have polymer. We have silicon. Well, actually, iron, alloy, carbon to polymer, silicon to electronics, hydrogen, waste, ice, food, and cryo uh, cryonic pods and research. So this is all of it. Uh, obviously, all our items we can make and produce throughout our system. I'm going to skip this guy. Um, he's probably just going to welcome us to the thing. Can we skip this? Yeah, we can close transmission. There we go. Um, we can see we've got an available of 46 power, and we are consuming 14. Uh, thrust. Okay, so that's going to be for us for moving. And what's down here? So we can see the Tycoon exterior view. This looks stunning. And then we've got the planetary system map as well. So we we can see that it is something that we are very familiar uh, familiar with. We can see the moon, Venus, the sun, Mercury, Mars, Saturn, and so on. And obviously, Pluto is no longer with us. Uh, and we, we cannot see it anymore. Um, but we can see this event available waiting for a science ship. Okay, so I guess we'll just go back to our little ship. And kind of do the basics. So we can see roads down here and some of this. So this is supply rooms. Active. Building not connected to an active stockpile assigned to an alloy. Okay, so let's have a look in our building here. And we can kind of see uh, that we have some building stuff. So I'm guessing we just kind of connect these up like this. Because we can see like the outputs of these buildings. I'm guessing they need to be connected via these arrows right here. Um, and like I said, I've... I've I've not played this. I, I never played the first wave of playing this uh, months back. Um, I saw a lot of other creators playing it. It did pique my interest. And I never played the demo if there was one. So uh, I'm kind of looking forward to just diving in this. And I'm learning, you know, raw. Just very much like you would if you was playing it. Uh, let's kind of connect these up here as well. Uh, and we've got to build a stockpile unit. So that's going to be in here, right? And we can see a workshop and a stockpile small. Stores up to 100 units of a single resource. So, okay, so it's at one single resource. Um, so it's not going to store as, well, multiple items. Uh, that's free, and that is free as well. We can see the cost right there. Um, allows for construction of other buildings inside of, uh, of the Tycoon by sending a mech to construction sites. Okay, so let's kind of put this down somewhere. Can I rotate? I can indeed. And it all comes out one of the front entrance. So let's just kind of place this right here. And hey, there we go. So we can see our little <laughs> little droid, our little mech here, kind of building the roadway and connecting these workers to these ones over here. Um, so let's have a look now. Let's put a stockpile down. Um, I'm guessing we can, doesn't matter where we put this. I have a feeling this might act very much similar to um, how Anno works with stockpiles. We place this down. It can only reach so much within a certain area, I would think. Possibly. Who knows? Uh, but anyway, let's kind of just put... Let's just put you down here, right here. Like that. So I'm guessing... Oh, it got instantly built. Okay, I thought there would be like a construction kind of thing. We can see the tutorials over here. Interior is F1, F2, F3, and F4. Camera controls, move in, move out. I kind of figured that out. Uh, overview, re resource cost construction. Constructing a building requires resources. All buildings cost a varying amount of alloy, and some can also cost electronics. Power consumption, kind of self-explanatory. Work is self-explanatory as well. Sectors, um, we can unlock sectors, and I'm guessing that's where we use trains uh, and all that kind of stuff to get to the other areas. Uh, we have a bit of a mini-map shortcut, so we can click each one here, and we can see any... Uh, problems uh, occurring in certain areas as well. So the power distribution is going to these two sections, but this one has something regarding battery charge is displayed in the inner section of the map. When a sector's battery bar is full, the batteries in said sector are completely charged. So I'm guessing that's not charged, but something's happening. 
Resources, obviously we've kind of just gone over these. Manufactured resources and science, raw resources, okay. And time control, we can speed up because we have a cycle section down here. So now that we've got this, is this grabbing some items? Resource has not been selected for a stockpile. So do we just choose? We can see the 63 right here. Harvest. How do I harvest? Do I, do I just double click? I'm clicking the harvest, but I don't think it's doing anything. Unless this has already got something. A resource has not been selected. Oh, we have to select it from here. So let's say that's going to be iron. Well, alloys, right? Are they going to select which one that comes from? Because we can kind of see all of these are flashing. None has been stored, but now we can harvest it. Okay, so when it was yellow, it was locked. And it's showing like an arrow here that that's now being sent over to here. And this can fit, uh, well... 100 right so there's 60 odd in there so let's harvest this one and let's harvest that one as well oh it automatically switched interesting and now it's bringing this one in as well okay cool oh i have established a connection with dolus's lead data scientist oh. emma Klein. I am a clean. Let's listen to what she says. If she's a scientist, she might teach us about some research stuff. Administrator, Mr. Dolos has made it abundantly clear when it comes to security. Given the importance of the tycoon, we must have full control over what is happening inside the station. My name is Emma Klein, Dolos's lead data scientist and member of the Marduk Council. My department have just completed final synchronization between Eden and our data treatment tool, the DLS. The DLS, or Data Listening System, is capable of scanning, recording, and parsing exchanges of any kind. The DLS programming that is a part of Eden will filter all data collected and bring to your attention only the most relevant information. It will also provide you with a condensed overview of any situations that may arise and formulate potential future outcomes. It will permit you to give direct orders without having to go through additional unnecessary paperwork. Eden will then take care of everything via their DLS accreditation. As is often the case with tools produced by my department, I think you'll find that once you start using the DLS, you'll never be able to do without it. Oh, and before I let you go ahead and start writing history, Dr. Munshi, our lead medical expert, wanted me to bring to your attention a possible side effect of vol jumping. Whilst there is a correlation between prolonged space travel and the development of early onset dementia, he believes that a vol jump has the potential to accelerate this process, although this is yet to be proven. His recommendation is for you to immediately send any crew members that are exhibiting uncharacteristic or symptomatic behavior to an infirmary, as these facilities are equipped to treat the mind as well as the body. Remember that all of your actions and choices are being recorded by Eden. We are not affiliated with any national or even international organization. The only people that you are answerable to are those of us who sit on the Marduk Council, who represent the collective interests and ambitions of the company. There is always a company. A new request okay, attention. so there's always a company behind us. The people that give us the funds. Okay, so now we've got this. I want to see. So we have a new objective up here. Communal dining. Resolve the event, communal dining, at the workshop in Sector 1. So if we look at the event, we've got only one event available here. And everyone seems a little angry. <laughs> so, Administrator, Tycoon crew members are currently unable to access food supplies. Nikond, uh, Ni Niocond protocols direct the construction of a mess hall. This building is designed to distribute food from my stockpiles to the crew. Guaranteeing access to food supplies would reaffirm your competency, uh, competency as an administrator. Okay, so ensure early access food. So, let's end data listening protocol. And we should now have a new building. I'm guessing we need some food, which is a mess hall. Serves food up to 500 crew members. We have 85 in this area, so that's not so bad. Uh, I'm guessing, I don't know how fast that's going to fill up. Uh, every five cycles. Okay, so every five days, technically five cycles, 50 food is used to serve 500 crew members. Okay, so let's place this down, and it's a big boy. Let's kind of put this right on the corner next to the workshop. And let's see how this goes. So we can see it's got, well, 10 out of 40 uh, alloys. And that's going to build that over time. We can kind of see it being constructed because everybody wants their goddamn food. And there we go. That is now done. What's all these machines? 
It's like they're bringing lots of TNT, but it's actually like crates and stuff. It's actually bringing the items from this, isn't it? That's pretty cool. So is this feeding now, or is this still being built? Oh, it's still being built. So this is a progress bar. Oh, because this guy right here, he's building it. <laughs> it looks like he's dancing. There we go. It is now complete. And it does say, building not connected to an active stockpile assigned to food. And then we've also got not connected, uh, not connected stockpile enough. Okay, so we need to make a, another uh, stockpile. But this time we're going to just give it to some food. So that's going to take 10 alloys. Oh, okay. So the first two buildings that we put down had no building time. Uh, but what we do need to assign, we need to assign this to food now. So this right here is directly linked to that. It's a neighboring building and I think will serve us well. I think. So we're just going to wait for this to go up and then once done, bada bin, bada boom, we have now hopefully got food. Who now? Henry Bargerville. Okay, they want to kind of speak to us in a minute. If you want to uh, skip these dialogue, or obviously go ahead, skip the video a little bit until the dialogue's over. If you don't want to listen to them, but uh, I'm going to compensate for myself because I do want to understand the story a little bit, but also for those that want to do uh, listen to it as well. So, uh, yeah, be afraid to skip ahead. I'm going to do the next transmission right now. Boru, administrator. What a wonderful day to embrace your fate, don't you think? I'm Henri Barjaville. Writer, philosopher, lobbyist, but most of all member of the Marduk Council. I have taken the liberty of personally arranging an exchange out of courtesy with the Ushanabi, a ship in high orbit belonging to one of our commercial allies, the Ashtangites. Even so, they are a small organization. The Ashtangites are important partners who share the same pragmatic, moralistic, and spiritual outlook as we do. The Ushanabi will provide us with a source of food while carrying out the Tycoon's initial testing. By making it the first exclusive trade partner of the Tycoon, we will demonstrate to our long-term allies that Dolos wishes for them to share in our successes. Please assign a cargo ship so that we can check the trade routines. Administrator, trust in genetic connectors. Self-similar space will reveal the pattern. Okay, so we've got a new objective, space exploration. But first, we noticed here the communal diner is still not complete. That's because we need to click on the food icon above the supply to collect its resources. So the food icon above a supply. So any of these? No, oh, yeah, right here, 60. Uh, oh, okay, so we do need to connect this road up right here uh, to bring in some more food. So let's just connect that straight up to there. Let's get the robot being being done. And we can kind of connect all these up as well. And I think I'm just going to take that straight up there and extend this along to this area here. So we should, we, we should be able to reach all the supplies. Uh, and let's take this out here as well. And I think we are now reaching all of the supply areas. So we can kind of see now that hopefully this is the food coming in. No, they're bringing alloys. Let's start harvesting this. And they start going over to the food. Well, we can kind of see they've got... We can kind of see they've got a different color as well. So food's obviously green. Red is uh, a building material, I'm guessing, maybe. Or maybe it's just for the color of alloy. Let's kind of close this guy. Um, but then we've also got... What's this? This is just more supplies. Alloys, alloys, alloys. I think it's just all alloys. Oh, no. We do have some... Uh, what are they called? Um polymer over here as well oh we've not actually made them accessible i guess we need to extend the road out over here let's kind of do that like that once that's done we can then feed 100 crew with the mess hall we've got 85 out of 100 so let's construct a cargo ship in the docking bay okay so how do we do so here's the docking bay docking platform uh and let's construct a what was it cargo ship science ship cargo ship here we go let's construct one of them and that's going to need 20 polymer so we don't actually have a storage container for polymer so that means we need to go into our build menu and actually go into stockpile and build one of these can we remove this one can we harvest this please and now i'm going to put another one here i think i want to kind of put all my storage areas to kind of together um 
and keep everything a little bit organized, you know, because that's how we do. That's how we do. So let's kind of put that right there. And we'll get that being built. And once that's done, I will assign that to polymer. Okay, so I'm just looking here. There's actually 40 polymer there as well. So, Okay, and there we have it. We can now do that. So let's assign that to polymer. And let's break down this one right here. Uh, we've got a 50 over here as well. And we've also got a 10 there. So that's 100 polymer straight off the bat. I'm not seeing any more. Um, yeah, it's just all alloys. And then we've got whatever's coming into there. So I'm guessing there's going to be a building at some point that we're going to need to go out and mine. We do have a cargo ship, which is something we're kind of working towards. Uh, train station speeds up crew transfer between sectors. Also allows for the exp uh, expansion of some buildings. Influence to all sectors. Okay, interesting. Um, so now that we've got that, we need to kind of look at this. We're kind of waiting on the polymer coming over, which it is slowly by these guys. And once we've got the cargo ship, I'm guessing it's going to get built inside this area. It is. Oh, this is cool. This is cool. Are we going to see it get built? Oh, it is. There's the framework. So I'm guessing we get to send this off like the science ship as well. So if we look out here, we can kind of see, if we look at the uh, the system, we can see that this area, this whatever this is right here, it's either a star or an asteroid cluster. Uh, Urshanabi? Uh, 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 um, but I'm going to call it Urshan. Uh, and this right here has got um, a supply ship, uh, organization, um, Ast Astanganites, um, we can see high priority resource to mine, and we can also resource to collect food, and we can make that as a high priority. Description, the first trade partner of the uh, Tycoon Station. Uh, this uh, Astagonite supply ship will demonstrate the viability of the Dolos resource transfer protocols. Okay, cool. What is this? Fleet. Whoa. Mining ships. Cargo ships. Okay, this is kind of... Pulling me in order. We've got some probes as well, so we can kind of probe the area. Uh, can we move? I don't want to move just yet in case, because I can see that we're whole integrity, and I don't want to get put. Can we leave this system as well? That'd be kind of cool, right? That'd be interesting. So let's kind of jump back into our ship, because I think our cargo ship's just been done, and now we need to construct a science ship. So let's jump in here, available, and let's purchase a science ship. And that's going to take up five people as well. We can still see we've got 79 people left down here. Um, and I'm guessing we go to other planets to pull in other people or even, like, transport somebody from Earth. What is this? A Gruber. A, what is a Gruber? I feel like a Gruber is a mining vessel. That's what it could be. Unassign, dismantle, Gruber. A Gruber is just the name of the ship, I'm guessing. Stock. Oh, so it's pulling the resin in there. We can kind of see the little bit of storage right here. It's consuming 14 power. We can turn it off from here. There's a little switch. And it's showing, in the middle of the screen, the available power. So there is going to be some kind of power micromanage in this game. I can kind of see that coming now. Like, when we get to a new sector... Maybe, I don't know if the power transfers from sector to sector. I'm going to guess so. That's what this whole battery system is. So we can transfer power to other areas. And all that good stuff. Um, we are out of polymer. So let's grab you. And get you to be grabbed. But also, we're 100 on there. Is there any more food about? I don't think there is. We've got more polymer up here. There is no more food. So that is of utmost importance. And that's what we need to do with the supply ship. So we can see now the science ship is coming. What's this? Homeless. 79 of the 79 crew members in Sector 1 are lacking quarters. Interesting. Okay. So we do have a docking bay. Constructs mining ships, cargo ships, and science ships. But can I... Oh, okay. It's just basically the same as this one, isn't it? Yes. Okay. It's a big boy. It's a big boy. We've got factories. Tech lab. Uses science to research and unlock new buildings and building upgrades. And then we've also got crew quarters, houses up to 15 crew members in limited quantity accommodation. And then we've got an infirmary as well, capacity to heal. Okay, let's 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 buy some uh, living quarters. Let's kind of put these up here. Can I put one there and put one there? We're just going to go with the two for now. I know it's a lot less than what we need, but how much did that actually cost us? 15 alloys. We've got plenty of alloys. So let's kind of start breaking this one down and start making this our like living quarters area. So the one thing I've kind of noticed 
is that these vehicles or these storage areas only send out five like um forklifts these vehicles and they can only ever be five available at a time it seems like um so we can see that these uh these buildings are now being complete they're very much cyberpunk or diesel punk if that's what we call it let me know in the comments what it is is it diesel punk but cyberpunk is obviously you know 2077 and these seems to have a lot of better frame rates uh, off the bat you know um okay so that's our science ship done so order the cargo ship to retrieve food via the fleet management window okay so let's go to our fleet management window let's go to our is oh is this our cargo ship oh it is our cargo ship the gruber is the cargo ship so let's go and get him food and we can see in the vicinity there is 12 food available so let's click that and if we go to our system now can we see him moving oh we can look a little gruber go he's already made it back <laughs> he's already back so he's already back which means i'm guessing yeah the food's gonna get sent off the cargo ship is he gonna go back out now and keep going in for 12 is that gonna be a thing now because i'm not gonna lie them doors opening all the time every time he comes back with 12 food might get a little annoying I also don't know what's going on here with the right hand side of my screen. I'm guessing that's a bug. We can kind of see Gruber over here peeping in on the left hand side of my screen. Uh, we do need to get some more houses down. I do want to get more of them in. Um, and we do have now 47 food. Food is still good. But resolve the moon event on the planetary system map. Okay, so let's go to the planetary system map. And let's have a look at what this event is. Waiting for a science ship. Summary our intelligence on the abandoned base. The base is out of commission. Auxiliary systems are operational and could could be used to restore power. Sorry, I just, I just uh, hopefully I, you, did, you didn't hear me just burp down the microphone then. Waiting for a science ship. Okay, how do I send this? Can I, can I send you? Where's my fleet? Where's my science ships? Where is my science? Resolve a moon event. Okay, total, yeah, do notifications. Blah, 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 blah. Ah, okay. We click on our little ship down here and we can kind of send him somewhere. So we can see the arrows we want to send. Do we want to send him to Venus? No, we want to send him to the moon. So there goes our little ship. And we can, I guess we can do the same thing. Whoa, okay. Probes. Oh, okay, so we get to scan areas for like, this reminds me of Mass Effect. Does anyone remember Mass Effect's like when you used to have to, you want to go and grab a certain resource and you have to, you know, go to these planets and you always have to use the probes and you, you'll see the, the wave spike saying, you know, this is how much we're going to get here. So it kind of reminds me of. Let's see what you're going to do. Nice. So what have you found here? Summary of intelligence on the uh, abandoned base. The base is out of commission. We read that. Transmission from the Cor uh, Corpenicus. Team, we have reached the UN base. This is abandoned and depressurized. The surveillance system is still operation, awaiting orders. Exploit the security vulnerability or dismantle the base. That's going to take two cycles. That's going to take one cycle. I don't know what we want to do. Do we want to dismantle the bit or exploit the security vulnerability? Let's exploit. See what happens. Um, I'm guessing most people might go for the dismantle, though. Who knows? 0 0.9 days left. Okay, so let's jump back into our ship. Um, let's see what we can do here. We do have 100 resources still available. Uh, we can't place any more houses down here because, obviously, occupied space. But we can throw one down there and one down there. Now that we've done that, let's have a look at what else we've got. So we do have the infirm, which is going to take up 40 resources and three electricity. We're fine for electricity. We've got 28 available. I don't know if it's accounting for these here already. Uh, if not, let's just kind of throw one down, science it, and see what happens. Let's kind of throw you down right here. Everyone's kind of doing the work. I want to kind of clear these areas right here. So let's get this harvest in. We're still good for food. See our supplies up here. Our trust is still good, it seems like. It's on plus 0.8%. Oh, okay. So let's have a look at the moon. Transmission from the, the uh, Corpenicus team. We hacked into the main computer systems as ordered and retrieved several uh, relevant research papers and data sets. So we've just got 10 research points. Nice. We hacked into the main thing. Okay, exploit the security. Dismantle the base now. Okay, so we've just got 10 additional research points for that, which I'm guessing when they return, 
it'll go up here into the science points. So let's return back to base and let's see how our builds are going on here. Um, obviously, we're about to run out of supplies. I do want them to kind of start breaking some of this down. And this is our medical base as well. Um, they did talk about something about um, like infectious things earlier, didn't they? As well, so hopefully that's not the case. And just imagine loads of zombies and everything just running up and down here, just eating them alive. Just alien <laughs> face huggers. <laughs> So I've kind of noticed when you kind of click on one of these, because I've clicked on this, right? And I've, I'm like, stop, like, I clicked harvest on this. There actually does go in for the closest one nearby. Uh, they're not actually grabbing the one I specified, uh, which is interesting. You'll think it will go for the one that I specified and not the closest one. So I can kind of micro, oh, there we go. Kind of micro micromanage where I want to go from. Um, anyway, medical base still need redone and resolve the moon event. Is that still ongoing? How are you doing on your research? Dismantle the base. 0 0.8 cycles left. Not long now. Oh, I keep pressing escape to go back. We're on day 27 already. I said day 27, but is a day the same as a cycle? So as I stated earlier, you can see the different colors. So we've got the green for the food. We've got like a turquoise over here for or like a navy, like a navy blue or an aqua blue kind of for the polymer and the red for the alloys. Uh, I'm not. I'm kind of staying away from the tutorials, if I'm going to be honest with you. Um, I'm kind of learning this as well. I prefer to learn that way. Uh, uh, and you'll hear me talk a lot about it. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, cool. Nice. We've got 30 yellow and 90 research. Okay, let's let them come back to us. Uh, can we send you back to... Is that going to come to Earth or is that going to go to Icarus? Or uh, Icarus. Let's just, let's just click there. Are you going to return back to us? Because that's the planet we're on. Let's see. Are you going to come into here? Are you coming in? Ah, okay. So I've had to get the cargo ship to select that and grab that. He's going to go over there and grab this now. The research is six. Why is that six? Can I get him to bring that over? Like I said, I'm still I'm learning as I go as well. So, hey, that's the... Oh, he is slowly... Okay, he's slowly draining it. We can kind of see it's going down slowly, bit by bit. But we did have to get the cargo to go and grab that from there to bring over the alloys. Noted. So we got, he's now coming in, he's dropping off the cargo and all that kind of stuff. We are still being, uh, we're, we're still not, at, oh, what was that? That was weird. I thought I just um, lost power. Okay, so we're putting down two more houses and... Uh, Hopefully, we should now be fine for all the people. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to... Whoa. I was going to put down a tech lab. But that's a big boy. What is that going to cost me? And how much power is that going to consume? 12 power, 30 people, and 75 alloys. Okay, so the power is okay. The power's fine. Let's throw that down there. That's a big job. And I want to get that done for when the research station gets back. The research ship. So we can at least start looking into research. I didn't expect it to be that. So let's speed up time here. And hopefully this gets done. And we should be able to house everybody now as well. So we can kind of see building dismantle, road dismantle. What is this? Population management. Sector 1. Stability is 12. Housing capacity is 75. Population is 85. Obviously, that's just gone up now. Workers is 79 out of... And we've got, we got 79 left. Wait. We have 7... Wait. Are we working with 71? We've got 41 left. Population. Workers 79. Yeah. Okay. These models are really nice. Like, really nice. How is our ship? Okay. So, our ship is done. We have the resource. Oh. I have Incoming transmission of head of oh. medicine, Dr. Avanav Munchi. All right, let's listen to this guy. Or her. Or them. Greetings, Administrator. I'm Dr. Abhinav Munchi, Tolo's expert in compartmentalism and medicine, and a member of the Marduk Council. I'm glad to finally meet you, even in this digital manner. Your psychological test results were quite impressive. My friend and colleague, Philip Stanford, couldn't be here today. So I will take the role of introducing you to the final stages of the Vol engine integration. Before we get into that, however, we would like you to complete the testing station's exploration 
and enhancement capabilities, you'll then be able to begin researching the EVA airlock and assess its compatibility with the Tycoon's core systems. I hope that the work of our team will ensure that you are equipped to deal with most situations you encounter up there. Before I leave you, Stanford would like me to remind you that space is a far less fanciful and forgiving environment than science fiction would have us believe. It would be wise to remember that. Okay. So there we go. Mr. Habinav Munchi. I was just looking at this building as that guy was uh, having a little chat with us. How cool is that? That's pretty cool. I could stare at that all day. It's like one of them satisfying videos you watch. Okay, so now that we've got that, we can see now we've got research going on. Do I click on this to do some research? We do. A technology tree. Oh. The hull. The EKP engine. Cargo ship. Mining. Science. Obviously, these are all unlocked. But now we've got this outer ring right here. And we've got further ones to go on to as well. So, we've got insect farm. Mess hall. Crew quarters. Infirmary. Docking bay. EVA. Airlock. Repairs up to 48 units of hull per cycle for four units of alloy and can construct exterior structures. Probe launcher. Is there anything specific it wants to? Okay, it wants us to get the airlock. So let's click on our research. Let's grab the airlock and let's start that. And uh, it's going to take two and a half cycles. Actually, that's going up pretty fast. We can kind of see like 30% already. I say that though, I am on three times speed. Okay, three, two, one, bam. The technology EVA airlock has been unlocked. Build an EVA airlock. Space EVA airlock. Oh my god. Where do you want me to put this? Choose and click on a vacant area near a wall to construct the building. Okay, so I guess I've got to put it like over here. Can we remove this, please? Can we harvest that? Let's get that out of there. We need some room. Let's slow the time down as well now a little bit. Actually, let's keep it medium. I think medium time might be good. Is this? There we go. Let's remove that one as well. Now let's try build the airlock. The big boy. Okay, we can do it right there. Let's stick it right into the corner. And let's build a road straight along there like that. And then we should be able to see Billy. Where is he? Come on, Billy. There he is. Building away. It looks like he's doing hopscotch. <laughs> so I'm just looking at this being built. And it does look like these could be our mining ships right here. I wonder if this is what it actually is. I could have missed something that's bit, that's already been said. I'm just being a spoon right now. So let's kind of speed up the time here. We are on day 50 right now. We've just hit day uh, cycle 50. I keep saying day because that's kind of what you normally say in colony or, you know, <laughs> city builders. Um, so let's kind of get this sped up and uh, I'll be back with you once it's done. Okay, so I've just noticed a little problem. I'm going to slow the time down here because we are out of food. We have seven in there, but we don't have any storage. So let's have a look at our solar s system here. And I'm just wondering, what do we do about this now? Waiting for a science ship. Let's send the science ship to Saturn. Um, we, may, we might as well keep these going, moving about, because that's obviously going to help us a lot. Let's do a probe as well. Launch probe available. We have none available, so never mind. Ignore me. We can't do any fleets. We can't search for any food. Um, one thing I do like is if we build more cargo ships, we can kind of assign the jobs they want. So we can get have one for each, if we, I think. So if we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's annoying. <laughs> there is 11 items that could be picked up, but then there's only 10 slots. Okay, so one, one thing's going to have to carry multiple things. But I guess you kind of micromanage it at different areas, right? If you kind of spread them out a little bit. That ship's nearly there, to be honest. Nearly there. But let's look back inside. We can kind of see we do need food. So, wait, I wonder if that's where the research nest or the insect nest comes in. Insect farm. Raises insects, converts them into one food every cycle. Okay, let's research that. Because obviously that's going to give us at least a little bit of food. And it's, if it's one food every cycle, that means... How, many, how much food do they use? Uh, 50 food is used to serve 500 crew members every five cycles. Okay, so we need to kind of get that put down. We do need to look into power, which we've not... 
Okay, can we, uh, let's... Where, or is it Saturn, right? You're at Saturn. Saturn data summary. A signature trace from the EKP system has detected near Saturn. EKP technology is the exclusive property of Dolos, but records indicate that the company has not deployed any missions to this sector. The signature will soon enter an atmosphere of Saturn. Send a team to investigate. Attempt to locate debris in orbit. Let's send a team. Let's see what happens. And then back on the ship, we can then... Obviously, wait for this research to be done. How far are you off? You're 28%. So you're going to take a little bit more time. This is still being built. We have no alloys. I do need to get these to be broken down. Hence the reason we have none uh, building materials right now. Um, this has got 90 right here. So that's a, that's, a, that's a chonker building. Oh, it shows our research down here. Water, insect at zero, max zero, recent balance. Okay, so water's down here, batteries. We don't do anything with batteries. This game is already hooking me in, and I'm not going to lie to you. I'm kind of enjoying it. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying it as well. Okay, so we've just unlocked the insect farm. The research has now been completed. How much is... Wait, how much is this going to consume in power? Five, eight workers. Okay. Um, Can we keep this somewhere near... Uh, let's, can we break this down? Oh, I would like it right next to this. I feel like I'm, I'm being a little picky. I guess I can just put this here. Yeah, let's slide that there. And then just build a road along here, just like that. Right? I want to, because I, I want to keep the, um, distance from source to storage to food pretty short. I, I want to reduce the travel. Reduce the travel, you know. Ooh, the science team has done stuffs. Interesting. Summary of intelligence of EKB, uh, EKP signatures. A prototype rocket sent by the UN seems to use a variation of EKP. We used to strip it down and recovered schematics. We got 10. Nice. So can we do anything else here? Okay, you're grabbing the resource, resource uh, research. Uh, let's jump back over. And this building is now being constructed as well. So we're just waiting for Billy. He's on his way right here. Speeding along. I love how they've got like a central rail system for the mechs and stuff to go along. But then the, the, the workers and the uh, engineers kind of walk along the outsides. It's kind of cool. So that's going to take some time to build. I don't know the length of it or the extent. It is a large building and it's, it is a kind of like a primary uh, building as well. Um, so I believe the research is now been done because obviously we've got the tech stuff. We've only got one work worker, so this guy is doing the job. So we just kind of got to speed up time and wait for things to be done. Oh, we've just run out of power. Uh-oh. Wait. How do I do this? Oh. Empower the tycoon. We need power. Maintenance. Where do I do this? Deactivate buildings in the power management view to reduce power consumption. Okay. Power management. So we can see everything that is consuming power oh god i guess we could deactivate the research right Let, let's turn the research off we might as well keep that off if we're not doing any research it makes sense that means we've got power back on and this building has now been powered so that does show that the buildings do not consume the power until it's built like that. We was just on nine. We've just consumed five because of the insect farm. That means we now start receiving food. But I did just notice the cargo ship did just drop off five food. I don't know where from, but he just kind of did it. <laughs> so, yeah, let's kind of clean up some of this here. Uh, and then get some of these as well uh, out of it. Wait, can I just click all of these? If I just click all of these, are they just going to grab them whenever they can and queue them? Kind of. What's that? Building not connected to an active... Oh. Let's bring you in. Let's add you to the... There we go. Um, finish implementing the VL engine via the build panel in the external view. In the external view. So in this, solar panel set. 
It's going to give us plus 40 power, but it's also going to cost us 10 resin. The 10 resin, 10 polymer. Yes. Let's build that. Interesting. Are we going to get to visibly see this attached to the... Oh, this could be cool. I don't know where... Oh, it is. Oh, look. Stage one. It's like small solar panels. There we go. We've just got 40 additional power. So let's jump back in here. Let's go to our power management and then activate our um, research. I like this power management. How we can just click on these items. We are going into them individually and then clicking the power supply up here. I kind of like that. That's kind of cool. They did, you, they, they did good. The devs did good. So like I said, we have got food coming in. We have got this right here. And this is an EVA airlock. What does this do? To, so this is just going to give us a higher hull integrity and all that kind of stuff. But I think I'm going to wrap this here. Um, there's a lot of information going on and I'm kind of learning it all. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video as well. So remember to like and also check out my other content right here. And if you want to see more, let me know uh, because I'll be e I'm eager to know. So this, this is probably going to be a long video, probably around 45 minutes. It won't surprise me. Uh, a bit of a warm. The other the other videos will be a little bit quicker because I'm kind of getting the fundamentals now. But like I said, check out my other content right here, guys. Uh, keep smiling, and I'll see you in another video.